Blessings to all that view this video. This is Joseph Mitchell with Mitchell's Plating. Today we are going to speak about a very important subject. How to maintain sacred vessels. Here we have a series of chalices and communion cups that are going to be refinished in 24 karat gold plated because of a lack of knowing how to maintain these vessels. Uh, here I am going to be pointing out some residue from polish that after the vessels were cleaned, somebody polished the vessels and wore down all of the plating. Here we could see where there is some residue of polish stuck in the crevices of these pieces. Even though you might see a chalice one piece, these pe this one chalice or one communion cup will come apart to several pieces. So when somebody adds brasso or any type of abrasion polish to these pieces, they are warring down the plating to the point to where the pieces will start tarnishing. But Mitchell's plating was able to restore each piece. Not only did we do just the inside and the outside of them but we even worked on the bottoms so the whole entire communion cups got refinished in 24 karat gold plated once again here i am pointing out in this particular point where the brasso seeped into the crevices and started corroding the pieces but we were able to have them restored and they're back together, all beautiful, refinished in 24 karat gold plated and ready for the next mass to be used for our Holy Communion. And here I am pointing out each communion cup, all refinished, 24 karat gold plated. Now, in this video, I am going to show you step by step on how to maintain the gold plating without using any type of abrasion, any type of polish, or any type of harsh material. And how do we do that? Is by using our Mitchell's plating maintaining kit. Refinished and 24 karat gold plated inside and out along with the presider's cup here and the next scene i will be using the presider's cup here to demonstrate how to use our mitchell's plating maintaining kit uh, now there are going to be some instructions on how to maintain these vessels and what to use and what never to use so please continue watching this video for the instructions. It is crucial to know, never use any type of polish to clean a gold-plated or silver-plated sacred vessel. So here we have two bottles. Uh, we have the large bottle of our oil and fingerprint solution, which is good to wipe off fingerprints and also any type of oil residue on any sacred vessel. This is what this bottle is here used for. In this bottle, we have our, uh, our blue brightening and purifying soap. This will not only kill germs, but also will brighten up the 24 karat gold plating on the sacred vessels that were recently replated. These should be the only two products that are used on any sacred vessel. Refinished and coated, refinished in 24 karat gold plated, or refinished in silver plated. This should be the only two products that are used. So the first thing I want to do in this video is touch this chalice all over and get my fingerprints on it which i did wash my hands and i'm able to get some type of fingerprints on it so as you guys could see i am touching this chalice all over we got some fingerprints on it 
Now, as you guys can see, we have some fingerprints on the inside. Now we are going to demonstrate this product. I am now at my water source with two objects. Our fingerprint remover, which is here. It is not labeled yet, but this is a, a really big bottle of our oil and fingerprint remover. I'm also at a water source. And here we have our brightening and purificating soap. So what I wanna do first is I wanna grab the chalice. As you guys can see, my fingerprints are there. I am going to take four sprays. Uh, one, two, three, four. On the inside, I have a brand new towel that was actually treated in the same towel and the same formula that we treat our towels that come with this. It's just in a bigger, uh, it's just a bigger form. And what I am going to do is I'm going to get inside of this chalice and use a hand varnishing technique to where, as you guys could see, there is no more fingerprints and the gold is nice and bright. I'm also going to do three sprays on the outside. Grab my towel. Wipe off all of the fingerprints inside and out. And now the chalice is removed of any fingerprints or oil. I am going to grab a communion cup and demonstrate how does our soap work. Okay guys, for this next one, this is going to be one of the communion cups. What we are going to focus on is, I'm gonna get some warm water, just running a little bit, there we go. It's some good running water. I do have a napkin here uh, just to protect the chalice if I do drop it. And I am going to do one pump on the inside, which gives us a good volume of soap. I am going to run the chalice in like this and gently with my hands, not wearing any type of jewelry, this laver that soap all over. As you guys can see, I have my bare hands. I am not using any type of jewelry on my fingers. After we got a nice lather, never submerge a sacred vessel. Because on this end here, you have a hole that the water could uh, steep in and actually corrode the inside of the piece. So I want to run this through some nice warm water. And just make sure not to get any water on the inside of any chalice or ciborium. Go ahead and give it a good rinsing. And as you guys can see, immediately the pieces will actually start brightening up because there is a brightening activator. Grab our treated towel and again, hand varnish all of the water off the piece, inside and out. When you come to the inside, make sure your towel is a clean, soft surface. Look at that. Gold is now brighter and beautifuler. No fingerprints, no watermarks, nothing. And that's how our Mitchell's plating maintaining soap and fingerprint remover works. Now that we have these two completed and washed and cleaned, I will use our fingerprint remover to make sure there is no fingerprints or no imperfections inside of the rest of these. And then we will be boxing them up. And I'll also show you guys that process in this video.
each one of these are now wiped and we are preparing to wrap them and to get them back in this little container that Mrs. Taki sent us in. After we refinish in 24 karat gold plate, we do add a soft tissue paper to each chalice, ciborium, or paten uh, before we get it inside of a box and add our bubble wrap, peanuts, and any type of other packing material. This does protect them from scratching. Now, before the pieces are packed and wiped, what we do is we run them through these series of lights just to make sure that there's no imperfection inside of the metal. And as you guys could see, they all passed beautifully. And this is our finished product. If you are in need of any refinishing or 24 karat gold plating, please see us on the web at mitchellsplating.com. To purchase one of our Mitchell's plating maintaining kits, go to our website and go to cleaning kit. Click there and you are able to buy our solutions. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a blessed day.